that's where we're headed to today. Mount Faulkner. It's the only mountain close to Hobart that we haven't been to. And by all accounts, um, a lot more popular 100 years ago than it is today. I don't think all that many people head up that way now. And that's not too surprising because in spite of the claims in the early newspapers, there is no good and easy track to the top. Mount Faulkner is only about 10 or so kilometres north of Hobart, but nevertheless, it's still fairly inaccessible. It took us three attempts to get there together. The first time was on one of those perfect days in early spring. But this soon turned to disappointment when I realised I couldn't go on. Unfortunately that's as far as we made it. On the way up Flo started feeling her knee again and it was starting to swell up more than she'd thought. So unfortunately we had to turn around. So I'm back up here today. I'm at roughly the same spot where we um, had to turn around last time. And uh, behind me is Mount Faulkner and hopefully I'll be able to get up there and bring some pictures down for Flo to have a look at. But terribly sad, her training was going so well. And uh, yeah, there's just no really way of telling when it's going to strike. All right, well, that's about as far as the road's going to take me, I think. Um, there's no real track up to Mount Faulkner. And in most places, that wouldn't really seem like too much of a problem because you just head overland. But in Tasmania, for the most part, at least when you're down below the tree line, it's not quite as easy. So I've got to try and find my way through this. I think I need to put on the moxies. Okay, let's go. Looks like there might be something through here, so we'll give that a go. But if not, I doubt it really matters too much. Well, we're still going. Um, I drew a, a straight line from the fire road down there up to the top of the mountain. At the moment I can't really see anything, but I'm more or less on the line that I drew. It's um, taking a little bit longer than I thought it was going to. There's some more rocks around now, which I'm hoping is going to mean the beginning of the screw field. Well, that looks a little bit better. All right, we're coming to the end of the scurry field now, but I suspect there's probably a bit more rock to go up as we approach the top. Unfortunately, these were to be the last images for the day. When I got to the top about 45 minutes later, my camera had gone, fallen out of my pack somewhere in the thick bush. So with Flo feeling a bit better, we headed back up two days later <laughs> try to rescue the camera. There it is! There it is! Oh yay! We'd resigned ourselves to not being able to find the same route back up, but with an incredible stroke of luck we stumbled across the camera without too much effort and it even still had about 50% battery left. <laughs> So we carried on to the top through some of the thickest scrub yet. Oh, okay. okay. I look better. This is like a highway. <laughs> Major highway. There you are, up there somewhere. 
we got some new shoes on today, so unsure about the grip, flow. Yep. How's the knee? Uh, Holding up. It's okay. What's the grip like on those? Oh, huh? Better than I thought. It's not I too like bad, them. huh? I really like them. I'll show you these shoes when we get to the top. We've got some ultras in the end. Oh, oh yeah, just Sorry. see if you can knock me off. <laughs> that might be ideal. Ow. Uh, my head. All right. Okay. All right, we're up in the summit ridge now, and um, and the summit I can see from here. There's a trick point up on it. You probably can't see it from here. days or three days probably because I was here two days ago completely different conditions really windy and Flo was still off with the knee but she's had she's had two injections and uh, the normal injections that you take in your stomach and those other tablets but I'm and very very careful I would not recommend doing to anybody else doing <laughs> that stuff but yeah but this is not a this is not a running it's injury not a this running is just injury, part of her yeah. uh, Part of this disease that she has, yeah, no. but you can walk okay on it now. Before she couldn't, even just two days ago, she wasn't able to bend the knee, and now yeah. you can bend it at least enough to get yourself up here. And I'm walking, I'm not running at all. That's right, yeah. <laughs> but these views are amazing. Let me just show you. Which way would you go if you were here right now? All right, those of you who've been watching our films for a little while will be familiar with my uh, work on on fallen logs and uh, wait with bated breath for such moments that I attempt to tackle one of these without falling off. So we'll see how we get on. <laughs> 